there, there, there needs to be more acknowledgement that education isn't just that which is learned in a book. Government-regulated education is not only restricting the freedom of young adults by not giving them control over their own education, but is also restricting the freedom and development of our entire nation. We've been surpassed by other communities. We've been surpassed, certainly Canada has, certainly the United States has been surpassed by other regions who are now becoming the innovators and the creators, uh, and we are basically doing the same old things. Over the next 20 years, the Vancouver Sun predicted that Canada's literacy rates of youth is expected to decline rapidly until more than 50% of our nation has skills that are below the internationally accepted standard of literacy. Primary at fault for this is the Government of Canada. Uh, in many respects, schools today um, are obsolete to the demands of, of our 21st century world. Uh, schools are probably better compared today uh, and have more in common with prisons and factories than any other institution. This cookie-cutter-like process that raises our country's literacy rates is nothing more than an illusion for what is really going on. There definitely has to be a far higher emphasis on the performing arts and the creative arts, a far, far higher emphasis on not just teaching the lowest common denominator of skills so that we can increase graduation rates because of course that looks good if we can claim if we lower the bar low enough then everybody we can claim to have a hundred percent graduation rate um, and we gotta allow more choice and we gotta we ba basically have to uh, revolutionize how we deliver education. This raises serious concern for our country's future. Those who find themselves specifically interested in the arts and trades are finding that this is especially the case as very few programs can be found to encourage their growth in talent. In Surrey, BC, there remains only one full-time fine arts school, which is not near enough for almost the 67,700 students alone in the public school system. We are proposing that after elementary school, the power to control education will be handed from the government to the student. We are not suggesting that the government mandated education is completely cut off, but merely once the basic skills such as reading and adding are required, the student be left to freely explore their career of interest. The biggest problem with education in North America is that it's simply not a priority.